Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge interior wall sconce called the Banded Wall Torch. This is the 206251, really popular fixture, has been for a long time, probably will be for much, much longer. Let's get into the size and details on this. This is 21 inches tall from the bottom of the fixture to the top of the fixture itself, 4 inches wide, 6 inch projection from the wall out. Uh, when we get into some of the other details like backplate, those kind of things, those are going to be um, a little tricky and I'm going to go over them in great detail with you. So backplate is 20.8 inches by 3 wide. That's going to be the setup you see in the picture next to me. See how skinny that backplate is? That is if you are putting it over what's called a gang box. And the gang box is this rectangular electrical box. A lot of you are also going to have this, which is a 4 inch junction box. If you are using a 4-inch junction box, we have you covered, literally. This is the optional plate that's going to come with this fixture automatically, and it's going to increase the width of the fixture to go over your 4-inch junction box. So this is going to be automatically in the box. You don't have to worry about it. It'll be in the same finish. It'll change the look a little bit from what you see next, next to me in the picture there, but it does cover you in either situation. So you are covered with gang box. You're covered with 4-inch junction box. <clears throat> so, and if you guys are, um, you know, putting these in uh, fresh, let's say, let's say you're doing a renovation or a new construction, you may elect to like that picture next to me that's more sleek and not want to go with this guy. In that case, just tell your contractor that you want to do this. And um, the other thing is you're going to need to know the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of the electrical outlet box, and that will be listed on the page for this on our website, handmadeinvermont.com. Always good information to see there. Another great place to see information, the install instructions. So if you're on the page for this on our site, look over on the right-hand side of your screen, see the pull-down menu where it says choose your finish, scroll down. There's going to be a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. So click on that for me. Those are the install instructions that are going to be in the box when you get this. Look at them now, click on that, and check them out. And you can send that to your electrician or installer. It's going to show you tons of great detailed information about what I just talked about, this kind of stuff. It's going to show you how it goes on here, distances, uh, how the glass goes on, the lamping. Lots of great detailed drawings are going to be there too. So take advantage of that because it's there. Okay, moving on from there, let's talk about socket on this. It's going to be using a porcelain type B. That's the smaller little guy that we talked about before in lots of uh, videos. It's going to be using what's called a G15. I'm sorry, a G16. So this is a G16 light bulb, which is just about the size of a and, and shape of a ping pong ball. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. But anyway, G16 is going to be the size of this. Um, if you do LEDs in this, I think it's called a G16 and a half, believe it or not. So it just means it's a little tiny bit taller because LEDs generally are going to have a larger bottom part that holds the driver for the LED. If you're going to be doing incandescent, you got a 60 watt max because of the heat generated by the incandescent bulb. If you guys want to go LED, there is no max, quote unquote. <clears throat> These will, the, the, a G16 and a half will probably on its own just max out at a 60 watt equivalent out in the world. Uh, it's a dimmable fixture. You want to put it on a dimmer. If you're going to do LEDs, put it on a, uh, a dimmer that is set up for LEDs. Okay. Moving on from there, let's talk about glass for a second. It's going to be using uh, Hubbardton Forge's opal glass, which is it's white glass. You can't see through it. Just a very simple white glass. From there, let's talk about finishes. So if you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, look over on the left-hand side of your screen. Back in those red tabs, again, you're going to see a finishes help guide. It's going to be a page that has a video at the top with me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I will be referencing a chart down below, so scroll down. See that chart down there? It's going to be talking. That's going to show you all the finishes that you can get this in. I'll be talking about that in the video. So kind of use the two together. Go bounce and back and forth between those two. When you're done, go back to the chart down below. You can click on any of those finishes, big window will pop up and it's going to show you lots of samples of whatever you just clicked on so you can see all kinds of things and all kinds of finishes. So take advantage of that as well. So I think that kind of covers basically the big stuff on this. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we have 90 day returns and no restocking fees. Nobody else does that. 
Some larger items and custom things are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that on the page for it. And we also offer a rush program. So Hubbardson Forge doesn't stock anything. That's how you can get all these finishes to play with. They generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and the upcharge is per line item. So if you have two or three or four of these wall sconces that are identical, that's one line item, and it is super inexpensive to get them out the door in half the time. So drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and I can tell you more about that. Or you can call 802-446-2400 during business hours, which are every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can also tell you more on the phone. Okay. Uh, in addition to all of that, we have a great showroom here. We have this on display on the first floor of our showroom. We have a What's on Display page. It's over on the left-hand side of your screen, back in those red tabs. A lot of information over there, so check that stuff out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6, and our showroom has just you know, over 350 Hubbard and Forge fixtures spread across two floors, and we are adding to that constantly. Uh, added to that, we have a clearance center, and that clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. Awesome bargain. Have to come here to use it. Showroom samples, discontinued stuff, and returns. Awesome, awesome deals. So again, showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. You can call me, 802-446-2400, every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Any questions, let me know, and we hope to see you guys visit us. Have a great day. Bye-bye.